And welcome back to NQAT Daily. I'm doing this one on my own. Just thought I'd give you a quick preview of United v Brentford. So it's this weekend, 3 p.m. Old Trafford, a rare Saturday 3 p.m. game. Pretty crucial game, of course, uh, both for the side and Eric Ten Hag. It's been a shockingly disappointing start of the season, really. The pressure's really mounting. Game to set the tone for the next month or so before the next international break. I think there are seven games before that November break. Let's dive in and let's think about some of the key talking points as we preview this game. All right, so first off, Really obvious, but you don't need a win. Ten Hag needs a win. Uh, there isn't really any other option. Form has been just horrendous. And it's just two wins from uh, seven in the Premier League. Yeah, of course, those two draws in the Europa League. I think it's really more than just the 14th place in the league and now 21st or something in the Europa that is doing it for fans at the moment. Uh, it's the performances which are horrendous. Uh, obviously, the pressure's on Sir Jim Ashworth, Omar Barada. They didn't fire Ten Hag over the break. Awful lot of speculation about that. Ten Hag didn't like it. Uh, it's obvious they've been exploring managerial alternatives they did in the summer. Won't be Thomas Tuchel, of course. Uh, maybe it'll be Thomas Frank. We'll get onto that one. I think the problem with the team's performance is, uh, I was going to say inconsistent, but they're actually really consistent. Uh, there's no clear tactical identity. You know, that's by choice. Uh, and I think uh, it is probably the thing that will get Ten Hag fired eventually. Um, but the thing is, we are playing uh, in terms of XG and XG against uh, uh, in the bottom half uh, of the table for um, 18 months now. And the thing is, Ten Hag, he was a great hope, wasn't he? Two years ago, uh, he was a you know, great manager at Ajax. They played great football. Uh, we hoped he could turn this club around, but really he's just waiting to be sacked now. Just another one um, of those failed managers post-Fergie. Uh, it's hard to, I think, overstate how, just how much United need to win so we don't slide into more crisis, both on and off the pitch. Old well, Trafford isn't toxic yet, but I would say it's right on the edge. We know there's no right to win as United fans, but I think we do kind of have a right to expect champions and Champions League spot, and especially after spending six hundred million or so under Ten Hag, um, and he hasn't really come close. I mean, first year, but the data doesn't really suggest that we should have done. All right, team selection story is really uh, more injuries uh, to key players. That's a feature, not a bug of Ten Hag's time. He overloads the players, he rushes them back. Injuries hit the squad. Hard, of course, uh, particularly in defence. Uh, Luke Shaw still out. Lenny Yoro still out. Tyrell Mar- Malassia is out. Harry Maguire be out for a couple of months. Midfield, Kobe Mainu, uh, quote, uh, out for a couple of weeks. But uh, Ten Hag routinely lies about fitness. So who knows? It could be months. It could be weeks. Um, he doesn't tell the truth. There are doubts over Mason Mount. Alejandro Garnacho had that uh, knee injury before the break. Uh, apparently he's been training all week, so that's good news, I think. Nusar Masrawi is apparently fit after having what was described as a minor heart surgery to sort the, uh, the, arrhythmia, the arrhythmia, if I can say that word. Manuel Ogate is fit, uh, but came back late from international duty. Team selection, uh, Masrawi fit, so he'll start left back, right back, Dallo left back, delete and uh, Martinez in central defence. I presume Lindelof will be on the bench. Johnny Evans on the bench, I'm guessing. Maybe not. Midfield, two from Casemiro, Eriksson and Ugarte in central midfield. Bruno at 10, he plays. Uh, well, he'll be in that double eight role. He's suspended, of course, for the Euro game. Up front, pick uh, three from Rashford Garnacho, Ahmad, who is apparently fit, and Anthony and Xerxes, uh, who, I mean, makes the team better, but he can't score. Or Hoyland, who's a much better target, uh, but lends himself more to the sort of quick transition chaos ball that Ten Hag really loves rather than any kind of control possession. Pick your boys in there. I, I don't know what Ten Hag will go for. All right, the really interesting thing, I think, about this game is the tactics and Thomas Frank, or Brentford's tactics. They've enjoyed a pretty solid start to the season. I think they are 11th, a couple of points ahead of United at the moment. 
sort of fighting for those mid-table spots, aren't we? I really like Thomas Frank. I, I think there's a lot to be impressed by him, both his kind of frankness, sorry, no pun, his character, his honesty in communications, some really innovative tactics right throughout his time with uh, Brentford. Defensively, they're pretty well organized. We'll see they're, they're shopping at the bottom end of the market. They've got some players really suited uh, to playing on the counter-attack. Uh, I reckon they're going to sit in the mid-block and then rely on quick transitions. Uh, they're going to use Brian and Bueno's uh, pace and direct running. He's got six this season already. Everyone's forgotten Ivan Tony already. Like, <laughs> uh, surprise, surprise, big move away to Saudi Arabia. And Frank has earned his reputation for maximizing the squad's strengths. Um, right now, everyone's talking about their set pieces, well, their kickoff routines and early goals. Darnish uh, from our tactics pod has done a really good thread on Twitter about that. Before that, it was set pieces. They've had this string of really innovative set piece coaches. Um, and actually, despite all of that, they've been playing some decent football this season uh, for a community club run on a tight budget, albeit with a a fairly wealthy backer, they're solidly in that mid-ranked group of clubs in the Premier League. I mean, I don't think they'll get relegated this season. I guess the question, and we've asked it on the main part, is is could Thomas Frank make it as United manager? I, you know, the doubts are on the tactical side. He's obviously played a lot of sort of direct football with Brentford. Um, it's not really the possession-oriented stuff that you expect from a really, really top team. But he has the cones, doesn't he? He has the character and the the riz, as the kids like to say. And I, I really like what I see from him a lot of the time, outside of the tactical stuff. Okay, so what would defeat look like for United? Well, it'll be total turmoil. I mean, Ten Hag has come through this international break, but if United lose, he's going to be under incredible scrutiny. Players will be incredible, incredible, under incredible scrutiny, especially if we look disjointed again. And that's about 90% of the, the games under Ten Hag. Um, a loss could force the board into changes. They don't want to make a change. I mean, that's really clear. They are hanging on for whatever they think their preferred solution is. But at some point, the levy will break. I, I don't expect Ten Hag to turn this around. And the opportunity cost of waiting is really high. Uh, United's poor start to the season has left the team facing a really uphill battle to secure a European spot. Champions League looks out of it already. Really, European spots are at a bare minimum, both financially and in terms of the club's progress and just our status. I reckon defeat this weekend will trigger discontent inside Old Trafford. Obviously, people online are, are deeply sort of in the rabbit hole of Ten Hag out at the moment. Old Trafford's slightly different. So, final thoughts on this one. Well, it's it's a massive fixture for both sides, but really mostly for United. It's There's a chance to wrap the ship. I mean, if you want to be positive, we've had a few of those. Every time Ten Hag's under pressure, he seems to be able to pull a, a result of some kind out. But, I would say Brentford are in a really strong position to exploit some of United's weaknesses. Uh, we do concede chances from set pieces. We do look weak when the ball's moved quickly into wide areas. Brentford do look for uh, overloads and not just from kickoff. Um, all these things that United have struggled with defensively are things that Brentford are pretty good about exploiting. Um, Buenos Pace, I've talked about already. Wissa is apparently fit again. He could play some part. He's been really keen to, he's been really keen in terms of their kind of directness about their play and getting those overloads. They are pretty consistent all round. Of course, I don't, they conceded uh, three against Wolves. I mean, they scored five last time out. So they do ship some goals for a team like United that doesn't create an awful lot of chances and definitely doesn't score more goals is a is a an opportunity i guess i just see them set up really well to exploit united's weaknesses of course like what is the main weakness and i, I don't know when i turned about this but the main weakness is clearly ten Hag. he has had very very muddled thinking for what 18 months now in terms of the type of football we're going to play uh, it was fairly possession-oriented with 
quick transitions in our first season. It was this ridiculous high press with no midfield backup, then dropping into a low block all last season, complete chaos ball, create this massive uh, void in midfield. I'm an amateur pundit on, on the internet, not a professional coach, and it's really bloody obvious. We don't score as many goals as we should. We ship a load of chances. It's really, really consistent. I think our ranking should have been about 15th last season in Premier League based on data. Obviously, it was 8th. Woohoo! Well done, Eric. The The trend lines are not going in the right direction. There's there's no suggestion that more time will suddenly I mean that Ten Hag creates a, a much better team here. And so, as I said, if I was Sir Jim, which I'm not, I would have just got rid now. You carry on paying his wages. There's really nothing to suggest he's going to turn this around. We can have interim until we find the, the right coach. Who is that right coach? It's hard to say. There are definitely some options out there, though. You find the next best guy. Uh, of course, that's what we thought we'd got in Ten Hag. All right. Don't want to realistigate all of that too much. United v Brentford, I think, and sorry, a bunch of people are going to be in the comments. You can read comment below and hit that subscribe button down in the bottom corner there. I think United will lose this one. I think we'll concede goals on the break and set pieces. We don't we don't create a chance chances enough. We're underutilizing Marcus Rashford's ability in narrow forward areas. We are underutilizing Bruno's ability at number 10 to create chances. He's going to end up dropping deeper into a number eight. Ten Hag thinks that's the solution. It's not. I would be really surprised if we get the balance right in terms of the starting lineup. That really happened. So, all right, that's my prediction. I think we're going to lose. We're a load of crap. Sorry. Catch you next time. It'll be Dan and I for the weekend pod on Sunday. Bye now.